majority of our team, both Army and Air, is within the state. Good news because all of our equipment, both rotary wing and high wheeled vehicles to allow us to respond out into the communities are there. Uh, we're in contact with Northern Command, which has the overall federal responsibility to assist the states at the request of the governor. And, and we're working through that process to ensure that if there's additional military assets that are needed here within the state, they'll come in in a timely fashion. What they will probably be initially engaged in is, is just moving people with, with very capable high water vehicles. Uh, after the storm passes, we've got um, UH-60 Blackhawk helicopters, slings and hoists, if need be, to be able to take people off barrier islands or off roofs if they're in flooded situations. Uh, the, the, the real value of the National Guard is just that. They, they've got these, these skills that they've learned to fight overseas, and we can bring them back here into the communities and, and be able to adapt them to the local emergencies. We are military first responders that go out at the direction of the New Jersey OEM. And, and, and we don't take any re, um, uh, request at the municipal or county level. They come from the state level. This is the center of gravity for the response. And at the end of the day, we respond from the state police, from the New Jersey Office of Emergency Management.